guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my summer essentials. This video is a collaboration with Andy the Green Queen, so if you guys are coming here from her channel, thank you so much and welcome. And if you guys are from my channel and want to check out hers, click the link right up here. I will put her video, and I think between the two of us, we're going to have a really big selection of things that you might be interested in for summer. So first, let's start with the skin. Number one thing you need in the summer is a good, healthy sunscreen that is not harmful to you chemical-wise, nanoparticle-wise. If you guys want more information on that, I will list my sunscreen video in the down bar. But the one that I've been trying out so far this summer, because we haven't had very many hot, sunny days on the weekends when I'm able to be outside, is from The Honest Company. It's non-nano zinc oxide, no synthetic chemical sunscreen. It's rated really well on the EWG. It does blend into the skin nicely, but again, I've only been able to try it a few times, so I'm gonna try some more out over the summer and let you guys know. Number two, George's Aloe. This stuff is great. It's basically aloe in a spray form mixed with water. So if you get sunburned, you can just spritz this on your skin instead of putting on that cold, sticky lotion. Otherwise, it's really also helpful if you have dry, itchy skin. So whether your skin's peeling or you've gotten bitten by mosquitoes or whatnot, you can just spray it on your legs or wherever the, that bug bite might be and it'll help soothe your skin. Next, you need a good deodorant. This is the one I've been using most frequently. It's by Desert Essence lemon tea tree deodorant. It's non-GMO, propylene glycol, and aluminum free. It smells really good. It does last me a really, really long time. It doesn't irritate my skin. Next, I've got a 100% pure coconut body scrub because, hello, it's coconut, it's summer, but you also need a body scrub to keep your skin looking in good condition as you're flashing all of your flesh. This is mine of choice, but that's probably because I got it on an amazing sale. I probably wouldn't pay like 20 some bucks for it full price, but if you can get it on sale, it's amazing. It's super moisturizing. It exfoliates nicely and it smells like a freaking tropical vacation. Next, I got a bug spray. I don't know about you, but where I live in the summer means mosquitoes and it means bug bites. And it also is high tick season and I need an insect repellent, especially if I'm on the golf course. I find that I get bit all the time there. This is a blend of essential oils. It's witch hazel, catnip, lavender, borax, basil, and sage. Um, and I find that it does work pretty well. You can make your own with different herbs, like um, boiled in water. There's so many recipes out there. You can use different essential oils. Um, but just make sure that you're using a really good bug spray when you're going to be out in tick infested areas because you don't want to get Lyme disease. Lastly, for skin, and this is sort of not skin either, it's kind of an in-between category, but peppermint oil. If you, I'm guessing where you live, summer's pretty hot. Um, even Wisconsin, we get really, really hot days. And peppermint oil is awesome to help cool you down. So if you're going to be outside for a long time and you know it's going to be really hot, if you're going to a festival or some sort of other outdoor activity and you're going to be walking around in the heat, dab a couple of drops of peppermint oil like at the base of your neck, on the inside of your wrist, on the inside of your ankles, and it'll just help keep your body cool and from overheating and feeling gross. On to makeup. <laughs> Skincare was definitely my biggest category, so it gets smaller from here. I need tinted moisturizer. This is my 100% pure tinted moisturizer. If you guys have been watching me, you know that I use this pretty much every day. It does have some sun protection with zinc and titanium dioxide. It's full of antioxidants. It's pigmented with fruit. It doesn't provide much coverage, which is my only beef with this product. But in the summer, you just need a tinted moisturizer for like a little bit of coverage, a little bit of SPF, a nice dewy finish, and then you're done with your complexion for the whole day and you look great because who wants to cake on makeup in the summer? Aside from barely there, dewy skin, fresh looking makeup, I feel like the quintessential summertime look for me is a gold and brown eyeshadow look with a bright orange lip. And for that, I use the Pacifica Gold Shadow. It is beautiful. I actually bought this whole palette for this one eyeshadow and it's actually the only one that I use but it was worth it it's not that pigmented but if you apply it with your finger it is pigmented and it looks beautiful 
For the other half of that look, I like to go with a bright orangey red lip. And my absolute favorite is this one by NYX, and it's in the shade Hot Tamale. If you guys want to see me wearing this, I wore this in my Lime Cella video. This is not a natural lipstick at all. I have not found one this exact shade, and because I wear it so rarely, I just keep it in my stash and wear it, you know, when I'm really craving that orange look. I've been looking for an alternative, and I think the Aromi Matte Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Orange Tangerine might match this, but I haven't purchased it yet to know for sure. If you guys know what that looks like and you've seen my Lime Cello video and think that it matches, please let me know because I would love to try it. The next things I've got are life related. I feel like in the summer I really, really need some ice cold refreshing beverages. Two of my favorites are a concoction of teas from Teavon and the one that I'm loving right now is the strawberry grapefruit green tea from Teavana. It's really, really good. I've also been putting a little bit of grapefruit essential oil in it and it just like boosts that flavor even more. An all-time favorite is the sport tea. This is a mix of green black tea with a nice citrus flavor. It has tons of electrolytes. It's extremely hydrating. My only beef with it is that it does come in tea bags. It's not loose tea. And so they're, they're, it, they look to be bleached chlorinated tea bags, which I'm not crazy about, but I feel like, I haven't tried it yet, but you could open them up and then you wouldn't get the chlorine leaking into your tea. Um, but this is just so refreshing. Both of the teas are very low caffeine, which is like a little, little bit, which is what I feel like works really well for my body. And of course you need a good beach bag. So here's mine. I got this last summer for really cheap. Where did I get this? I feel like I got this at World Market, but I'm not totally positive on that. I always have it stocked with a bunch of things because we live on the lake in the summer pretty much. Not actually, we don't actually live on the lake, but we go boating just about every weekend and we love to be on the lake. So I always have a stocked beach bag. I do keep my sunscreen in here, but in addition to that, I always keep a hat because I like to wear a hat on the boat to protect to keep my hair from getting super ratty, to keep my scalp from getting burnt. I don't wear it all the time, but I like to have it there when I want it. This is a swim top from Athleta. It is by far the favorite swim top that I've ever owned in my entire life. It has support. The band is really nice and sturdy. There's cups in there. There's underwire. You are not going anywhere, no matter what you do with your lake or beach time. If you're playing volleyball, if you're wakeboarding, your boobies are staying in, which is great. It's super comfortable. I also really only like to wear um, bikinis where the straps are like bra straps because otherwise, or no straps, a bandeau I like too, but anything that goes around my neck gives me a headache. I also like to keep some healthy snacks and drinks in there. I've got a Kind Bar and I've got a LaCroix that I can just pop into the cooler in the boat. So that is all of the summer essentials that I can think of right now, and I hope that you guys like them. Please let me know what your summer plans are and what your essentials are for them. If you guys are going on any fun vacations or going to any cool events or festivals or things like that, I would love to hear that. And thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to check out Andy's video as well, and I will see you guys next time.